guys, Keithy Six here, metal detecting in Alaska. Well, we've had a lot of snow here in Fairbanks the last few days. And then today we wake up and it's above freezing. It's probably about 34 or 35 right now. They say possibly up to 44 today. We did have a winter weather, weather advisory in effect till noon because they thought uh, we might have freezing rain and a lot of snow, but so far it's just been all rain. So I haven't been metal detecting in a week and I'm dying to go swinging. So I'm gonna head out and look for some places to possibly go metal detecting. I'm assuming that the ground is pretty frozen by now. Uh, so I'm wondering about this one swim beach where it's sand. So I'm going to go over there and check that out. I know a lot of people have probably been there this summer because people in Fairbanks are starting to go out metal detecting and that's where you see them is at these public beaches. So anyways, let's go over there and uh, see if that's even diggable. My last resort are uh, playgrounds that have what they call pea gravel, the little teeny gravel. Snow and ice may accumulate on top, but once you get through that, you can actually uh, find targets underneath it. So hopefully we can uh, dig in this on the sandy beach. like the rain melted all the snow off the roads but it's gonna be nasty when it refreezes tonight most of the snow but there's still a lot of ice on this road. Makes me wonder what the beach is going to look like. Oh that's a shock. Nobody's at the swim beach. <laughs> Well, we just made it here to the swim beach. Let's take a walk out here and see uh, if it's even diggable. So far I'm the only one. Here comes somebody else out the road. No hunting. Hey, the sand feels soft underneath my feet instead of rock hard. All right, and we're off. I'm using my Fisher F44 today because it's weather resistant and I brought my homemade scoop. So let's get down here and see what anybody might have left behind for us to find. Still a little bit of snow on the beach. But I see the water level is way down. So let's go down there and work the edge. Well, I have my first target. Wouldn't you know? A pull tab. All right, let's keep looking. Well, second target, bobby pin. Boy, if these things were worth something, I'd be rich. It's starting to rain pretty good. Look at this ice. I guess I can only go so far. It's like thick. No first high number of the day, 60s and 70s. I 
had to back away from the water because the ground's frozen. All right, I'm gonna have to hand dig this out with a shovel. Well, I'll dig this up if I even can. Look at this. All right, I'd say this target is unreachable for right now. Let's move farther up the beach where the sand is a little softer. See how those digging conditions are. Well, it looks like my next target is what I call a Keithy Six Special. It's a zipper pull. Forties target. First bottle cap of the day. Hey, and it's gold. Just found this little, I think it's a bead. I'm not sure what it is. Not sure what that is. Thought I had my first coin. Just another bottle cap. Hey, I think I found my first coin for today. Oh, crusty penny. Sweet. I've got this huge signal. Uh, wait, you know it. Can of squirt. We'll throw that in the trash. It's heavy, full sand. Hey, ring in the scoop. Check it out. Sweet. Uh, it looks like a cheap adjustable ring, but hey, it's better than bottle caps. Hey guys, I'm looking at you. Do my first ring of today. Sweet. Not bad for almost November in Fairbanks, Alaska. Well, sun's trying to come out. I've got a mystery target. Gee, I don't see. Oh, there it is right there. Haha, <laughs> there's a penny. Hey! Finally! Some big money. Sweet. I could find quarters all day long. So from like where I'm standing to the shoreline is frozen. But from like here over it is fairly diggable. It's just I know the best targets are probably down here since the water level is so far down. But oh well, hey, I'm lucky to be out here beach detecting at almost the beginning of November. Hey, looks like I first found my first piece of gray matter today. Well, fishing weight. Ring in the scoop. Sweet. Let's 
pinging up like gold. Ring number two. I don't know what to do. Ah, sweet. Well, I just found this chip. It says, good for one beer. Since 1950, the drop-in lounge, Fairbanks, Alaska. That's pretty cool. Hey, you just found some more big money. Sweet. Hey, I just found a diamond earring. Sweet. All right. Finally, a piece of jewelry. Now yeah, found another dime. What the heck did I just find? Look at that. No wonder it put off such a good signal. A giant washer. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for me. I did find a lot of stuff today. Two rings and an earring. Check out that view. Can't ask for better than that. All right, guys. Let's go home, get something to drink and eat, and get ready for the roundup. Can't believe we don't have a lot of snow here yet. Usually the cutoff is Halloween, so by Halloween we usually have enough snow to where it sticks. So we'll see what happens this year. All right, guys, see you in a little bit. Boy, what a mess this parking lot is. Hey, thank goodness the uh, outdoor facilities are still open. This is a little park they built here. I just wanted to show you this ride they have here for kids age five to 12. <laughs> it looks dangerous for an adult. Also look at spins. I could probably metal detect in these wood chips too. Well, hey guys, welcome to my roundup. Boy, I sure dug a lot of targets today while I was out on that beach hunt. I think I cleaned up the beach pretty good of bottle caps. Look at all these bottle caps. Plus a whole buried can of squirt. So I dug all these bottle caps. You gotta dig those if you wanna find the good stuff, unfortunately. Also found some pull tabs some aluminum foil, found this giant washer, found a zipper pull, and found a whole bunch of bobby pins. I could have dug these all day long. A little hair clasp, found a paper clip, and some gray matter, a little fishing weight. I did find 17 pennies, two nickels, four dimes, and five quarters. I found these little beads. I think they're some kind of like BBs or something. Found this, it was in a little circular pattern. Thought it might have been one of those little bands that go on a bird's leg, but I don't think so. Probably off a pin or something. So I did find this fancy looking earring. No markings on it. And I did find this child's adjustable ring with a little stone. And it's not marked. Wasn't expecting it to be. And then I found this ring. And I was hoping this ring might have been white gold, but uh, no markings in it. Whoa. No markings at all. Has some kind of little black stone on it. 
but hey, it's a ring. Sweet. And then I did find this little chip. It says, good for one beer. Since 1950, the drop-in lounge, Fairbanks, Alaska. So that was pretty cool. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me on my uh, winter beach hunting adventure. Stay tuned for November 3rd at 10 p.m. on the Travel Channel. The new series that I was on this summer is about to start. And uh, it's called the Alaska Triangle. So stay tuned. I've got a video coming out here pretty soon of when I went and met the film crew and actually filmed it. So you can see some shots of me uh, being filmed. So anyways, till next time, good luck and happy hunting, everyone. See you next time.